Hi all, this is Aprajita from Freshesworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Jobs and Careers. This is our first session regarding user interface and experience. So let's start with what is user interface and experience. Actually, whenever we are using any website, if we'll go to Facebook, Gmail, anywhere, whatever we see, whatever user can see and interact with, that is user interface. So we will start with very beginning of the user interface because it's better to learn from beginning and then proceed to another language because uh, this is the development area which will never stop developing. We'll start with the HTML for our first session. Here, for that purpose, I will let you know that HTML is hypertext markup language. This is the language where we write code to represent whatever we want to as a content or anything it can be to a browser. This is a communication between a browser and a developer to show our content to the user. First of all, I will tell you guys that it is really simple because there is no, there is not much requirement for software installation and all. But yes, editor we need to write a code. So you can use any editor, whatever you are comfortable with as a beginner. It, it can be anything, a notepad or a sub, sublime. I prefer sublime actually because it's really good and, and free also. So here we'll, see, you can see that in Google itself, if you'll go to sublimetext.com slash download, you can select sublime text three page. And here you are having several options to store, uh, to download anyone according to your PC configuration, whatever it is, it can be Windows or Ubuntu. And after installing it, you just run the application and you'll see this window here. Here I have uh, already created one document with HTML and uh, whatever you will write, it should have an extension when you are saving your file with .html. So yes, we will start here with the very basic tags over here for the first line and we always write it doc type html here doc type represents whatever version we are using for html just to inform browser that this is the correct version sorry does not the thing yeah html this is our opening and closing tags and whatever content we will write it will go inside this it can be anything whatever you want to show to user it will go inside this these are tags html inside this we'll write one head tag that is for meta information whatever information meta information is basically whatever information we want to give about the document that is meta information here we can declare several kind of meta tags that can be cas head equal to yes, UTF 8. This tag basically tells about the character set encoding. As you people must have little knowledge about SCI coding and all, so encoding just for encoding. Whatever data you will give to the browser, it will encode it to the binary format and it will understand whatever it is. And then we'll come to our next tag that is body tag. Yeah, here your main content will go. Whatever you want to show to the user that, yeah, hello, this is my first website. Like this. I, you can open it directly in browser. Yes. So here you can see that the here is the output. Hello, this is my first website. So yeah, you. This is the basic structure for HTML document. So this is must to include. Even if some in uh, later versions, you you can see that. Um, head tag and body tag are not usually preferred if you don't want to write it 
you you can avoid it but it's not a good thing you should always have the closing tags because if xml if you want to read it for xml passes then it's must so this is the end for our basic structure of html please like and subscribe to our youtube channel and yes do comments so we'll come to know what else we can do and if you have any queries please comment below we'll gladly we'll answer it please thank you